scripture in the Bible, in the, in the Old Testament, that talks about take my word and put it on, on your arm and between your eyes. What that's called in Hebrew is the tefillin. If you've ever been to Israel or you've ever seen pictures of maybe Orthodox Jews praying, they not only have their tallit on, but they have these black straps. How many have ever seen that? Black straps that go around their arm, and on the arm they have a, a box there, right here on their arm, and then they have it wrapped around their head, and there's a black box on their head. The reason that's there is these boxes hold the Word of God. And a Jewish man will begin his day in prayer, taking the tefillin or the phylacteries and wrapping them around their arm and on their forehead. And you know, here's an interesting thought. Women are not required to put on a tefillin or a tallit. They're not required to do that, only men. And the reason, let me ask you a question. How many like to learn something, actually learn something when you come to church? Is God male or female? Some of you said neither, some of you said both. And the, and the both is correct. Because God is not a person, he's a spirit. We call him a father, but God is both male and female, obviously. And in rabbinical teaching, the female part of God is the Shekinah, is the Holy Spirit. That's a female part of God that is nurturing, leading, guiding, taking care of us and all those things. And they say the reason a man has to put on the tallit and the tefillin is because a woman hears from God much easier than a man. I'll wait. I'll wait for every woman to go, that man is a prophet of God. Now, it doesn't mean just because you're a woman you hear from God. You, you, you need to hear from God. Amen? But it does teach, you know, and, and doesn't that kind of kill the church teaching in women can't, you know, we were thrown off of, we were thrown off of, we were asked, we were put off a radio station here in Dallas because we let women teach. I won't tell you what church it was, Baptist, Baptist. Um, <laughs> because they don't believe women can teach. And yet the Bible teaches us that women hear from God easier than men hear from God. Amen. And so we're men, and not that women can't put on a tallit, but men are told to put on a tallit and a Jewish man and put a tefillin on. And the reason is the word of God is in your arm, parting, pointing to your heart, and it's on your head close to your brain. And the reason for that is that may our thoughts and our emotions match the word of God. May all of our thoughts... And all of our emotions match the word of God. But the last thing you do is put it on your hand. So that may our thoughts and our emotions and our actions match what God's word says. Be not hearers of the word only, but doers. And then you'll see the blessing of God. Somebody shout amen. Amen. 